Hey there, Chicka Pies. How we doing? How we feeling? Happy Thursday. It's actually Thursday evening and I'm about to go do my Thursday ritual. I'm meeting a friend for a little bit and then I'm coming back home. We're supposed to get some heavy rain starting tomorrow, which I know all my East Coastans, East Coastians, Stidians, you know, I'm making up a word, y'all. But I know y'all are really bracing down for a storm. We've been getting rain all week um, here because of, I don't know, I wanna say there's a storm out in the Gulf or something and I think we're getting rain from that, but not like, we're not like in any kind of danger. We're just getting like the fly off rain from it. And we've been getting rain like all week, y'all. Like all week. Um, and tomorrow is supposed to be like really bad because I think there's another storm coming in or I don't know. But anyway, so I'm hoping I don't get caught in any bad weather tonight coming back home. Hopefully it'll just be like, you know, like afterwards. I'm not gonna be out very late. But I'm just gonna go meet a friend for a little bit and then, you know, come back home. <laughs> I say that every Thursday that I do this and then I always get home. And it's not really that late that I get home, but because I go to bed so early, it seems late. Like, well, no, it's late. Okay, let me just shut up and stop my lying. Cause it do be late. Cause I get, I don't get to, you know, it was like when I get out, like you, like you feel fine when you're out. It's just when you wake up the next morning, you're like, what the hell was I thinking? So yeah, so anyway, Okay, <laughs> I can sip on a drink like literally all day. So I got this this morning um, and I think in the very beginning of this vlog is where I'm going to put this little, the other footage so that it'll just start off my my vlog off right. But, um, so the rant that I just did. <laughs> so I went back. I got my replacement drink yesterday and that was almost another disaster because by the time I got them, it took me probably a good three or four minutes to get them to figure out what it was that I wanted. And I'm like, okay, y'all, help me understand. Starbucks sell millions, not millions, but a lot of different flavors of coffees and teas and, you know, so when someone just orders something plain, is it that is that so unlikely that they just get so confused and they don't know what to do at that point or what. I don't know. But anyway, so um, I am drinking a plain green tea today, which I went back in this morning. This one I paid for. This was not, yesterday was my replacement one. And then today, again, it was like getting the girl to understand, you know, because if I want matcha, I'm going to order matcha. I look at the little thing, the little board, and it said today, this morning, meant something mint green tea I'm like no that's not what I ordered I'm like why I don't get it like when someone says plain I mean I don't know I, I, I don't know but anyway yeah so here's a toast to all the green tea lovers of the world because I've been just doing this green tea thing because I have been not feeling well I've actually been pretty sick this week um, every night I've come home and I've done the whole NyQuil thing and um, so I haven't even done my PJs and coffee time video for this week. Uh, ugh. I'm hoping to get it done Saturday morning, I'm hoping, um, because Sunday morning I am walking in the prostate cancer walkathon um, in lieu of raising money for prostate cancer. So I will be out doing that walk. Okay, what we got going on up here, policeman. Okay, y'all, let me take y'all down for just a second. I tried to get this camera back situated, but I'm, I'm about to get up on the highway now. The traffic is actually very lightweight, so I might vlog for just a few minutes, um, just because I haven't talked to you guys. You know, I like doing, I like what I'm doing. I like having the longer vlog for the weekend. That way you guys can literally watch it all weekend if you have to. Ooh, this footage is pretty. Um, yeah, so it's kind of working out good for me, and it, it really is bringing up my time in the week, and I really needed to have that done. So yeah, so totally working out for me. I hope you guys are enjoying the way I'm doing this now um, I leave for California on Tuesday morning um, so I am going to vlog while I'm in Cali I just don't know how much or whatever but I will vlog because obviously I want you guys to enjoy my trip a little bit with me I just you know don't know to what extent um, but yeah so I don't know how next week's videos are gonna work out like this this one that I'm doing today this week will go up on Friday so you guys should still have do I have anything going up on Wednesday Ooh, wait a minute 
minute. Did I screw up this week? I did my weekend vlog. I have no idea. I'm thinking I don't have anything to go up on Wednesday. Okay, I may have to regroup. I may have to do a video, two videos on Saturday so that I'll have something to go up on Wednesday. I hope you all really like the way that I'm doing this right now because it actually really is working out for me. So yeah, let's just stop talking about that because now I'm all confused and I'm worried about it. So I decided to break my little um, camouflage purse today. Um, whenever I go out to like a bar or somewhere to have like a restaurant or bar or anything to have a drink, I always like to carry like a little, like if I know that there's a possibility that, you know, of me dancing or anything like that, I always like to carry a little bag so I can throw it across my body so I don't have to be worried about what's, you know, being on a chair or something happening to it or whatever because I get real paranoid when it comes to stuff like that so I don't know about y'all but I get totally paranoid and y'all know girl ain't taking her Louie can't take her Louie so yeah so anyhow um, yeah so that's what's going on with me I'm actually gonna I think I'm gonna get off now because I really actually need to call a friend real quick and say hey what's up because I've been sick all week and I haven't checked on my friend and I need to check on my friend because that's the, that's the proper thing to do Hey there, Chica Pies. How we doing? How we feeling? Happy Friday. I sucked at vlogging today. This morning, I was actually on the phone with Terry as I was driving to work. I'm on the back road, by the way. Um, and it's, it's still in my subdivision, but just on the old side of my subdivision. Speed limit's like 20 miles per hour. So, But it's kind of crooked and windy, so you might see me reach for my camera. Just, you know. Um, but yeah, so... I was on the phone talking to Terry this morning and before I knew it I had made it to work and so yeah so I didn't really get a chance to do very much vlogging or did I do any vlogging today I kind of think I did it I can't remember <coughs> no I didn't I didn't pick up my camera today but yeah so I'm actually not feeling well um, I'm not going to stay on long because every time I start coughing, every time I start talking, I start coughing. I seem to have managed to catch a little bit of a cold and I fly out on Tuesday so I'm not real happy about this so I'm going to come back home tonight and um, I've been doing NyQuil literally like every night and so um, I'm going to come back home tonight, do some NyQuil and just like... I'm actually gonna fix it up tonight so that I can try to get this this thing gone because I have a busy week ahead of me you know like with flying out and then Monday I'm having to work like all day like I'm gonna get to work at like 6 30 in the morning so that I can work on payroll so it's gonna be a rough day before my vacation but I'm up for it I can do it I you know I'm ready for it so but yeah so anyway that's what's going on with me now. I'm actually headed over to, um, if my hair looked a little bit weird, I just dyed it. Um, I had to blow it dry because, like I said, my I'm kind of sick. And the weather, I don't know if you can tell, but it's raining. It's been horrible weather. We've been getting a lot of rain. Of course, no complaints here because Lord knows if you've been watching the news, you see what's going on, on in the North Carolina area. My sister and family uh, will be hit by the storm according to... Uh, the news tomorrow morning so continue prayers for them as well as everybody in that area um, my brother I don't think they're gonna be affected too much by it they said that the storm kind of turned a little bit he lives in Virginia so they said that the storm turned a little bit so I think he's pretty much okay um, I think they're I mean I don't know exactly um, I know he said that they were getting a lot of wind but I don't think they um, they're like in any danger danger like I think the winds just like you know just windy I think but anyway prayers for everyone um, the mother and baby that lost their lives with the tree fell on the house I heard that just before I left the house today and my heart just goes out to them um, my friend Diane lives in uh, the North Carolina area and you know she and her family um, her and her husband actually um, live in that area so continue prayer that they can you know that they too will be okay so you know just I mean prayers everywhere just prayers y'all because they need prayer right now but yeah so I'm gonna get off um, I'm 
gonna get off so that I can. <coughs> so that I can. God, man, y'all have no idea. My chest is on fire. Yeah, I'm just gonna get off. I'm sorry, y'all. I just don't feel well at all. And I need to regroup here. So I'll chat with you guys a little bit. I don't, well, did I finish? I don't know. Okay, I am headed to get my, a couple of my locks have come undone. Um, this, I don't know if I ended up, I think I ended up talking about it in one of my vlogs, but this, this hair has been a doozy. Um, it slips really bad. It looks beautiful but it slips really bad. So I've got a lot of loose pieces and some of my locks when I washed my hair today literally fell out. So um, yeah, so anyway, um, she's going to make me whole again so that when I get to you know, travel to California that I'll look halfway decent. Um, but I think probably within a few weeks after coming back, I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out because I'm just not happy with all the, you know, like with them slipping the way they do. Like I said, they, it looks beautiful. Looks very natural um, because of the way they, they just kind of like unravel and tangle. I don't know, they just really look like your hair is trying, you know, like your human hair is locking. It's just that the slipping is really bothering me because it slips here at the top. And of course, then, you know, my braid comes out and it's just a mess. So anyway, but that's where I am. And I, I, of course, because I did my hair today, all my makeup came off. So I just do on just a little bit of face and body just to kind of like make myself look somewhat presentable. So that's pretty much all I have on my face right now. Um, unless there's any kind of residue left over from, I cleaned it with a, um, one of the cleaning wipes, so facial wipes. So, but that's pretty much all I've done today. So I know I look a hot mess, but it's all good. So anyway, let me get off now. And I don't know if I'm gonna come back on by the time I leave out of there, it's probably gonna be dark. I kind of want to get my toes done. Um, but at the same time, I don't know if I even feel like doing that. So we'll see, y'all, I don't know. Hey there Chico Pies, how we doing, how we feeling? Happy Saturday. And as you all can see, I've got a passenger with me today. Oh, say hi. Hey. She gets all shy. I told her y'all love her. She should know it by now, but you know, she gets all like weirded out and everything. So it's pouring down raining. Well, actually right this minute it's not, but it's been pouring down raining. Um, of course, we don't have anything like the people in North Carolina are having. So I hope everybody's safe. But we have had rain, like literally, okay, let me turn this heat off because I had the heat on last night. Um, we have had rain pretty much all week on and off. And so it's been interesting. And so, but I had to get out to make some errands today. And Terry's gonna tag along with me. We've gotta go to, I gotta swim by the bank. Um, and we've got to go to, well, I got to go by and run up Brooks and then I got to go to Chase because I take that money over to Chase so I can make my car payment. Um, but I've got to go to Rolling Oaks Mall today to get the little tag thing, take it off my white pants that I keep forgetting to do. And I need to go to Victoria's Secret. I actually might pass on Victoria's Secret today because I need to get something for my layaway for my trip. So I think I'm going to wait and get my bras later. Um, so I don't spend too much money this pay period, but we got stuff like that to do. So these are necessary errands today. They're not so much fun errands, but necessary errands. So yeah, go figure that one. So anyway, of course I'm still very congested and I still have a really bad cold. So I'm probably not going to vlog as much as I would typically do. But I just wanted to come on and say hi because I don't have any footage to be putting up next week. And I know you guys will be pissed off at me if I don't put something up. So I thought I'd get on and do a little bit of vlogging today. And then of course this one will go up on Friday. And before I forget, um, when I vlog on, my vlogs are now actually like a week behind. I'll vlog on, like this weekend's vlog will post next Friday. The, well, the, the Friday a week from now. Um, so my vlogs were actually like a week behind because I'm no longer doing the daily vlogging, so to speak. Um, I might do Vlogtober and vlog every day in the month of October, but I'm not sure yet. 
but if I do that I'll let you know for sure but so now my vlogs are literally like gonna be a week behind and then when I do my post my regular videos on Wednesday they will be filmed at some time prior to that although this Wednesday as of right now I have nothing to post because this week I just haven't felt good so I haven't done any footage but um Maybe I'll do something tonight. I've got a couple things I want to do. I just got to see how I'm feeling today to get it up. So anyway, that's a little disclaimer so you know what's going on. Because I think Debbie asked me, was this this Friday or, or last Friday? And it was last Friday in that video that you were watching. It was the Friday before that you saw. So anyway, I'm going to say goodbye for now. And I'll chat with you all hey, later. Hey, that chicken pies. How we doing? How we feeling? Happy Sunday. I think we're it's like half the day already. Well, it's like more than half. It's like five o'clock in the evening or almost five. And it's been a very, very, very busy day. So I'm just now starting to vlog and I sucked at vlogging yesterday because I literally spent, let me find a good spot for some lighting. I literally spent uh, yesterday trying to get ready for the trip and running errands and I was with my friend Terry and we just, you know, we were doing a lot of talking personal talk and so I just kind of sucked at vlogging yesterday but um, yeah never mind the house is a living pigsty right now um, I just got home um, got up this morning and did the zero prostate run walk walk this morning uh, pouring down raining but it was a success a lot of people showed up so it was, it was awesome it was a nice thing um, <clears throat> men get your prostate checked just do it okay it's very important you'd be surprised um, and the sooner you catch it the better if it's gonna be a bad diagnosis you need to know it before it gets too far so trust me when I say it's very very important to know what your number is and the key is you want your number to be zero so yeah so anyway um, I'm somewhat watching TV and I just brought out um, a lot of my clothing for the trip I'm gonna start I'm actually trying to edit a video that I did for my PJs and coffee time for today. Um, I don't know, I, I don't even know what the footage is going to be like because I haven't been feeling well and I was trying to do a lot in a short time and a lot of things were going wrong yesterday. I kept coughing throughout the video so I, I don't even know. I'm going to look at it and if it's, it deems worthy, I'll put it up. If it doesn't, uh, yeah. So anyway, but I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to show you. Um, these are some of the things that I'm taking on my trip. Um, and these are things that I've purchased over a period of time. Um, and some things I've had on layaway. Some things were exchange things. So I didn't really, I know it looks like a lot, but um, trust me, it wasn't done all at one time. And some of it was exchanges and some of it was, I even have gift card money being spent used here i've got a lot going on so but i got this at um at h and m and i really really like it the evenings are supposed to be about 62 63 in long beach and so i know myself i'm gonna be cold um so i kind of think i'm gonna go ahead and take this with me it is a sweatshirt but it's it's one of the ones that the sleeves have rolled up and i think it's just going to be perfect for the trip so i'm going to take it with me and then I found this beautiful scarf at H&M. Um, it was $12.99. Isn't that just gorgeous? And it looks perfect with this sweatshirt. And so um, I'm probably going to put those together. And I'm going to flip this down. And these were the white pants that I, I think I mentioned that I got them from, uh, what is it, JCPenney's the day that Terry and I were out shopping a couple last weekend, I guess it was. And these are Levi's. And these are the ankle skinnies. And um, they have the... The sailor tie at the bottom. I don't know if that's the proper name for them. But I paid like $6 for these these jeans. And so I think that's going to be a little outfit right there. And I'm also going to take another top that will be in case it's not as cool as I think it's going to be. And then um, I showed you guys this a while back. But of course I haven't worn it because we've been in the hundreds um, prior to this past week. Oops. I'm oh, sorry about that. My camera strap. But this is the sweatshirt dress that I got from H&M gosh I don't know a few maybe two months ago I know I've had it for a while and so I'm just I've been waiting for an opportunity to wear it and since I'm going to be um and this was a $12 fine y'all look at that oh my gosh I was like, so excited on that purchase but um love it and um I don't even know I'm going to some 
concert or something, but I'm going to wear this as an outfit, the dress and the Converse sneakers. It's kind of a, I don't know, it's a, I don't know, don't even ask me because I'm really not into all that, but I'm going to some kind of concert. So that's what I'm going to wear. And then I found this yesterday at um, TJ Maxx and I absolutely love it. Okay, Diane, play close attention. Pay close attention, girl. Because I know we discussed this before. My TJ Maxx seemed to have a lot more certain things. I'm about to go on a free people mad haul right now. So all of these pieces I'm getting ready to show you are by free people. Coincidentally, um, I don't know. They just had a like a huge supply of free people in inside the store yesterday. Um, so anyway, and when I put some stuff on layaway a couple, uh, almost a month ago. So I found this purple top and I've been really trying to pursue cl colors other than, you know, my standard black, my standard gray and standard white. So I saw this in purple and I've commented to you guys several times before how purple is not my color. Like I, <clears throat> Purple has just not been my color. Um, I love the color purple, but for some reason, when I put purple on my nails, I always think it doesn't look good, but then people always like, I love your polish. So I don't know, maybe it's just a thing in my head. But when I saw this, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get this because I have nothing purple. And it looks so cute on. It is an off the shoulder, can be pulled up on the shoulder, got some sleeves to it. And it's not a thick shirt at all. It's actually rather thin. Um, but I think it'll be perfect for the cool evenings as well as the moderately warm days. I think that high is supposed to be like in the seventies, like 77 or something like that. And, uh, this was a total exchange. I had a couple things that I returned and, um, I just kind of had them in my closet and never wore them. And I was like, you know what, before the 30 days pass up, um, actually one of them had passed 30 days. The other one hadn't, but I just, I was like, you know what, I'm going to take them with me. If I see something in the store that I can't live without and I would like that better, then I will return and get this uh, or get something. And so I saw this and y'all, this is the cutest thing ever. It has Sheila written all over it. Again, another piece from Free People. Uh, it is a, as you can see, it's a plaid dress. It's got the little gathered sleeves here and it's got the pleated bottom. Um, it is a dress. Theoretically, well, I don't know because they didn't have it hanging with the dresses. They had it hanging with the shirts, but it's long enough for a dress on me and I can also wear it with my leggings. So not sure which way I'm going to do it, but I just fell in love with it. I thought it would look really cute with some ankle boots as a dress um, as the winter come in or the fall come in. So, yeah, and it does have a little tunic top underneath, which is kind of cute. Um, this is in a size extra small and this purple, by the way, is a size small. So this was from Free People again, like I said, and then this is a TJ Maxx price, which was $39.99, and then the Free People price was $128, so definitely had to have that. And then this is a boring, this is where I went back to the basics again, but I really like this. Um, for me, sometimes you just need something that you can throw on with some jeans and you can either dress it up or dress it down by throwing a scarf on or some accessories. And I like the fact that this was a charcoalish gray slash black with, and it has a little um, thumb sleeves. I don't know there's a name for that, but I can't think of what it's called right now. And this is actually a size small, but it's a very, very big size small. And this is by Michael Stars, which I'm not really familiar with too much of his line. But um, yeah, so anyway, I, I love it. I, I just think it's, it's gorgeous. It was $24.99. So I got that. And this is another free people find. Regular price, $68, $29.99 at TJ Maxx. And that's the free people price right there. Love this item. Um, actually, it feels damp because I kind of set my wet bag on it and didn't realize it. Um, this is in a size small, extra small as well. Very tapered sleeves. I don't know if you can see that. And then it's just got a real jagged type of a front. This, no seam or hemline. And then this is a very large neck area with a turtleneck going around the top. This looks so cute on. I cannot wait to wear that. 
And I thought this was, again, another piece that would be awesome for the evenings. And I probably can get away with it as the day progresses throughout the day. So I don't, you know, I'm not real sure, but I want to have, the last time I went to California, I didn't have enough warm clothing. So my goal is to make sure I have a good mixture this time. And then this um, is something I had on layaway. So I've had this, um, I got it um, off layaway at TJ Maxx. Um, again, this was in lieu of planning for my trip. And I fell in love with this. Um, I think this is the Under Armour brand. I get real confused on, I think that's what this is called. Is that what it's called? I think that's what this brand is. But anyway, um, correct me if I'm wrong. But I like this white sweatshirt. It's a very thin shirt, which will be perfect for traveling. And I'm going to wear that with my black Adidas. I think those are Adidas. Yeah, my black Adidas. I was like, what do I have, Adidas? And then these are the pants that I'm going to wear with it. And that's going to be my flight outfit. I just kind of decided that I wanted to be super casual for the flight. And see, these are the same brand. And these were, let's see, how much were these? $19.99. And then the sweatshirt type of thing was $24.99. So really, really like that. And then... This was a find that I bought at H&M a couple weeks back, I don't know, um, on their clearance section. And this is so cute. This is a button down. And this green matches this green in this pants perfectly. And um, the shorts were six or $12. And I think the shirt was something like eight, yeah, $8. Love it. The shirt is a size uh, six. And then the, the shorts are a size eight. They're high-waisted. The six was a perfect fit. And I kind of was like, eh, I wanted more of a looser look because I wanted this to be like slouchy. So I opted for the eight instead. And so that's going to be a short set that I'm going to take with me. And then this dress uh, was also a dress that I had on layaway. And you're not going to be able to really get the, the true looks of this dress because it's super long. And I don't think I can give it, do it justice, but... It was $59.99, and it is also by Free People. But look at the embroidery work on this. I just thought it was really, really pretty. And it gathers in the in the front. And so when you gather it in the front, it it makes a, for a beautiful fit. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And actually, this one was a size, I think, large, if I remember correctly. Let's see. Yeah, this was a size large, which in Free People... A large is normally huge, but this was not really that big. When you look at it, it might look big because of the fact. Let's see, I don't know if I can do it justice. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do it justice, but <laughs> I'm trying. So looking at it from this angle, it looks very big. But when you gather it, this part kind of hangs out almost like if you were wearing a wedding dress. It's just a super beautiful fit. And of course, I'll be doing some OOTDs along the way as I'm putting on these little outfits. And then this was, you know, this was the still of the day. Got this for, I think, what was the price on it? Five bucks? Yes, five dollars. Just a little off the shoulder white shirt, which I so needed another one of these. In fact, right before I found this, I commented to myself as I'm looking in my closet, I need another white off the shoulder shirt. <clears throat> about to lose my voice again and yeah could not find one or hadn't found one until the other day and love this it's so cute and I think this was a size yeah a size small and again this was five dollars and then this little find Terry found this for me yesterday at JC Penney's and y'all this screams Halloween pumpkin patch I don't know I just I actually love orange so much it's one of my favorite colors. I don't know if you guys know that or not, but it is one of my favorite colors. Um, orange and greens. I love those colors. I love them combination, the combination of the two colors together, which just does have a little bit of a mixture of everything. But it's got the paisley thing going on, and it is a romper. And this was a whopping $8, y'all, at JCPenney's. Size small, and it fits me perfectly. This last thing from Free People is a... <coughs> the last thing from free people is a size medium top and again I felt like this screams pumpkin patch I don't know when I saw it I just thought it was so cute um, I kind of want to wear this with a pair of oversized jeans because it's a little bit more of a form-fitting um, shirt I don't know which jeans I'm going to wear with it yet um, <clears throat> 
I'm still kind of up in the in the, the decision making process on that, but I love the colors and the sleeves. Like, look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? And then when you flip it over on the back, it's just e equally as pretty. Um, look at that. It's just so pretty. I love the, all the colors and it just, and it's a perfect, like kind of like sweater type material, but at the same time, it's going to be perfect for the, you know, the evenings. And these are just some jeans that I already had. And over here, let's see what I got over here. These, I, <laughs> I planned to put these on layaway yesterday because I did start another layaway. They were just so much free people stuff, y'all. I could not believe and I went back because I accidentally picked up the wrong color and my purple top had to go back there last night and they had even I don't know if I think they had put out some different stuff because I literally went through that rack with like like my hands toes everything and thought I'd seen everything free people and then found another shirt that I wanted so bad but I passed it up because I was like decisions 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 and final decision was stop so anyway, but I saw these. I was going to put these on layaway. They were only $9.99, but I really, really love these. I actually want the Ugg brand of these, the Ugg brand version of these, I guess. My daughter-in-law got those last year for, for Christmas from my darling son, and I could kick his butt because I was like, I love those. Your mama wants some. But, of course, he should buy things like that for his wife, not so much for his mom. But, yeah, I absolutely love these. Um, so I ended up going ahead and purchasing them because I did not want them to be sold out. But they were only $10. But, yeah, I really, really like them. I think they're just super cute. And, yeah, so I can't wait to snuggle up. Those are not so much for the trip. I don't even think they're going with me on the trip. But I wanted to show you since I was showing you so much stuff. But this pile of stuff here is some stuff that I am taking with me on my trip. And I've got to figure out I had to roll all this stuff up in my suitcase and like travel as light as I possibly can. Yeah, look at all this stuff, my goodness. I did find some cute little panties at H&M, some little thongs. There we go, those are really cute. I got those to take with me on the trip. And then I had, okay, down here somewhere. I think I'm gonna take my um, leather or faux leather leggings with me. These are by Hue. I think these are gonna travel with me as well as my uh, Zella, is it Zella? Why do I feel like I'm seeing that wrong? Is it Zella? My Zella um, leggings, and then I'm going to take, these are the ones that have the, the cut the cut up ones. I don't think I'm gonna take those, I'm not sure yet, but um, these are my Hue ones. I think this is my newest pair. I, I have an older pair and a newer pair, but I think these are the newer pair. So I'm thinking I'm gonna take these. These are thinner, the Zellas can be kind of thick, and they can totally get you too hot sometimes. So I think I'm going to take these as well. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of like just a little rundown of some things that I'm going to be packing in my luggage for my trip. I leave out on Tuesday morning. So when you guys see this, I'll already be in Cali. So yeah, so I just wanted to kind of share that with you all. And like I said, I am editing that video. I don't know what I'm going to think about it, but I guess we'll see once I get it going and see what I think about it. So if you see it, you see it. That's all I can say. So anywho, bye for now. Okay, so um, I'm about to end my vlog, but I just kind of wanted to show you just a tad bit of what my packing is looking like. Um, this is packing for two people. Right now, this is all just my stuff. But um, because we're traveling back from California on Frontier, Frontier charges for everything. Um, check bags, carry on, either or. So I'm trying to see if I can pack without having to have a true carry on. I am going to carry my Michael Kors, I'm not Michael Kors, my Marc Jacobs bag, and I'll show you that in a second. But um, let me just kind of show you this first. This has, this little pocket right here has all of my toiletry type items in it. Um, these are for both of us actually. And then this one over here is uh, right now inside this packet is my spare nail polish. Um, well, I say spare, but my, this color right here, which I'll have to look it up. I just bought it from S, um, Essie today and I love it, love it, love it. This is actually very much like the Wendy or is it Wendy or Mindy? Mindy and that is by the KL Polish, which I wanted for my trip, but I did not manage to get it ordered. Um, so yeah, so I picked this up yesterday. Did I say today? I picked this up yesterday 
when I was out with Terry, but I have placed this polish inside of here and um, let's see if I can. So what I've done is I have this inside of an Ulta bag, Ulta, I always say Ulta, Ulta, Ulta bag. God, my brace is bothering me. Um, and this is a, just a little spare bottle of nail polish remover. Um, it's like a little tiny, I say spare, why am I saying spare bottle? What is wrong with me? I'm tired. This is just a little trial size and I just refill it, refill it. But I keep my nail polish remover in there. I just take my Sasha fee because this isn't going to be a do your whole nail over thing. In case I have to touch up, that's what this is for. And this is that color right here, which I don't know what it's called and I'm not wearing my glasses. Let's see if I can't. I don't know if you guys are able to zoom in on that and tell me what it says. Good luck. But anyway, this I'll look it up and maybe I'll put it in the description bar. I'll get my glasses and look at it later. But yeah, so I kind of rolled this up and I've got some cotton balls in there as well. But I rolled this up and put it inside this pouch and that's going to be inside that. That gives it extra protection in case it does come open. And I've started kind of putting this one together. Uh, this was from when I went to Virginia. Um, so I really haven't done anything extra, but I've taken out a few things. But yeah, so... Um, this has some extra wipes. Now this is actually going to go in my bag because this is going to have my wipes in case I need them and uh, stuff like that. So I'm going to, I'm working on fixing that up. I don't know exactly what all I'm going to put in it, but yeah, so I've got, um, hanging things will go here. I got my Converse's and I got my swimsuits in this little pocket right here. And then, um, over here in this bag. Um, as you can see, I use the roll up method and I've got my things all rolled up. I still need to include one other pair of jeans and, um, this top right here, I was just trying to kind of let it dry off a little bit, but, um, yeah, this top right here, I want to, uh, put in here. So I'm going to need to roll it up and I'm also going to need to roll this up. This had makeup on it, so I had to wash it, but I'm trying to figure out what's the next pair of jeans that I want to put in here. And, um, that's going to kind of wrap up, I think, everything that I'm going to be taking. Another pair of jeans and this shirt, that shirt, and maybe one other shirt. I'm not 100% sure. I feel like I need something that is one more short-sleeved item, but I'm not sure yet. So, yeah, so anyway, that's kind of like what I've got going on and... This is going to be my uh, traveling makeup bag, which I'm actually going to store this inside um, because I'm, I've got some full size products in here and I'm just afraid. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if this will, I don't know. Can I take these? I'm trying to decide. I, that's going to require me to think a little bit. So anyway, this is my Michael Kors bag that I'm going to be taking with me. I'm going to try to fit my Louis Vuitton bag inside of that when we come back on Frontier so that, that this will become my purse. So yeah, wish me luck on that. But I So that pretty much wraps up everything um, for this video today. I need to go ahead and end it. Somehow or another tomorrow I have to edit this vlog and edit a very quick video that I'm planning on trying to get done before I go to bed tonight, which I really need to get ready to go to bed. I need to take my NyQuil because I'm scared now if I take it, but I know if I set my alarm clock, I'll be good to go. Um, I've got, I'm, I'm torn between two videos. I'm not sure which one I want to do, but yeah, so I'm going to end this vlog right now. Thank you guys for hanging out with me for the weekend. I'm sorry this vlog really wasn't much I guess like on Saturday but today I kind of got a lot of stuff in even though I didn't even start until later at least you got to kind of see how I'm packing and getting ready for my trip so I'll see you guys in my very next video I'll be vlogging while I'm in California I'll see you guys when I get back bye